Hi, this is Sir Steve, your streaming integrated robot. I'm hoping you're having a good day, good night, good whatever other time it is. And today we're going to be doing some archipelago setup for Super Metroid. So, what I'm going to have you do is first go into our nice little archipelago setup guide. We're going to need to grab some things. First thing we're going to need to grab is this archipelago file. SNI is going to be included within that archipelago file. And for this case, we're going to be using BizHawk as our emulator. Specifically, BizHawk uh, 2.9.1. Don't worry, I'll show you exactly where to download that. And you must have your legally obtained Super Metroid ROM file. It might be, it might probably be named as Super Metroid Japan US dot SFC. Again, we cannot provide you one. You might need to just look for that file name. Now, with that, we'll go through the steps of making sure we have everything downloaded and set up correctly. So the first thing that we'll need to do is we'll need to make sure that Archipelago is indeed downloaded. To do that, you'll go to the Archipelago site or the Archipelago link. It's going to look a lot like this. You're going to look for the first one that has this latest option here. This green latest. Doesn't matter what version, make sure it has latest. Scroll down to the bottom of this block, and you're going to select this setup archipelago, whatever version.exe. You do not want to select the pre release because those are sometimes janky. They may not have everything that you need or want, and there's some bugs that may be included. Unless you know what you're doing, go for the one that has that green latest. Next is up is the BizHawk. So you want to find the downloads page and select this option of 2.9.1 if you want to follow exactly my steps. If you get an earlier version or a later version, some of the settings may change, but for the most part, I'll be able to show you exact the steps that you need to do for 2.9.1. If you don't have, if you get to this page and get stuck wondering where am I going to go, select the option of release packet links and release it notes on upcoming releases. Bada bing, bada boom, you're on the right page. So now. What you're going to need to do is after you set up every all or after you installed and set up all the applications, you'll then need to go and configure them. First one we're going to configure is going to be the BizHawk itself. So to do that, you're going to go into config, go down to core settings. Hmm. One moment. Making sure I'm giving you the correct information here. Yep. So again, 2.9.1. So we're going to be following these bottom instructions. Config. Preferred cores. Not core settings. Preferred cores. SNES. And you're going to want to have this BSNES V115 Plus. Have that option selected. Once that's all set, you may need to just do a restart in your core if you already have the game running. And for that, you can then just slide that down. We're going to grab that in the, another time. Next, what you're going to want to do is going to want to launch your archipelago file. You're going to have a page that looks like this, might have a different version up top, but that is what it is. You're then going to select on browse files. You're going to open up a nice little windows page, a lot like this. Now, what's important is that because of this game type, you're not going to want to go through the normal Lua ways. You're going to want to go specifically through the SNI. So you're going to find a folder that's labeled as SNI. Click on Lua. And you're going to find this connector.lua. That's going to be very important later. So you're going to hold on to that. And you're going to put that to the side. Now, once all that's set up, you'll then go into the game. Going to set it up a file. I've already have one set up just so that it's nice and easier. Have a download patch. Bada bing, bada boom. It starts launching things up. It may ask you, hey, where's your copy of the game? We want to make sure it's legal. Click on wherever you put it. It's on desktop, downloads, wherever it is. Select that. Once that's done, we don't need that full screen. It's going to be telling you, hey, we need to get this connection. Why are we not connected? You bring back up that Lua connection from your SNI. You're going to take it, drag and drop it. 
And boom, it's now going to say, it's now going to have this beautiful thing that should say, hey, everything's connected. You're all good to go. You just need to make sure that you don't, don't close out that window. And also on the archipelago site, it will say, hey, you can successfully connected. You're all good. From here, you'll then also be able to go into config, controllers, set up your controller however you like. I already did all that stuff before. Get launched up. Oh, I always do save slot two. Start game. And you should now be in. I didn't look too closely into the settings of what I did, so I'm more or less just running gun and trying to see if I can grab a first item to be able to prove that, hey, it is indeed all good to go. And I am now realizing that it might be a little bit of a hot minute before finding the first item location because hot dog. I, it's been a hot minute since I played this, but yeah, from here, you are all good to go. And you should be able to get started on your Metroid adventure. Steven Post might decide, hey, you know what? I'm just going to edit this part out. Just to zoom to the next spot where our thing is connected. Or I might just cut the video here. Either way, I do hope you guys like, comment, subscribe for all that stuff. Because that's apparently now new rules for YouTube on, hey, you got to become an engaged viewer. But, uh, yeah, please let me know in the comments what video you would like me to make next, and I'll be happy to do so. Other than that, I do hope you have a good day, a good night, good whatever other time it is, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.